As I mentioned before, I'm currently working on the designs for a chat prototype. So what I need to do is I need to upload my Photoshop file that contains all of the designs for the prototype so that Envision can quickly create the corresponding screens. To get started, we're going to go over to our Envision platform, right? And I'm already signed in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the, uh, the plus button to create a new prototype. And let's go ahead and just call it the chat app. All right. And we're going to select the type and it's going to be an iPhone app. And we'll keep it in portrait. And so let's go ahead and click on create prototype. All right. So now we have the space. Let's go ahead and open the sync folder. Now, the sync folder works a whole lot like Google Drive's desktop application. So essentially, you get to drag and drop files into the folder, which will automatically synchronize with your Envision account. So here we have our account, and then we have a list of all the prototypes. So I'm going to go ahead and select the chat app folder, then move over to assets, and then finally source files. This folder is going to be the place where we actually import our Photoshop file that contains all of those screens. So let's go ahead and find our Photoshop file. I have mine here right on the desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and drag it into the source files folder. And so once we do that, your Envision logo should be activated. And essentially what's happening is it's synchronizing the latest changes that it's detected. Obviously, we just imported the PSD file. And so now it's going through and importing that content. And it should also start processing all of the screens that I have created within that Photoshop file. All right, so I just saw a notification telling me that the synchronization has completed, and I'm just going to give it a couple more seconds and wait for the notifications regarding the screens. So now we're seeing the notifications for all the screens that have now been added onto the prototype space. So let's go ahead and go back to the prototype. So here's the prototypes and chat app, and you can already see the first screen was there. And so here they are. All of the, uh, the screens that I had created in Photoshop are now within the prototype space. Now that we've imported the Photoshop file, any changes that we make to the designs in Photoshop will automatically be reflected within your prototype. 